What's up guys? Here's Garrett again, uh, also known as Garbonics. I'm going to do uh, the second episode of my playthrough of The Walking Dead Season 1. I uh, apologize for the audio in the first one after I uh, went through and listened back. It seems like the game audio was pretty loud compared to my voice, so I went in and adjusted some settings. But all that being said, we're going to start back and here we go. The second part of uh, episode 1 of season 1. So let's resume. Left off, uh, found Clementine, as you can see there. And we're going to keep on going. Let's see. All right, we got some guys up here. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. I ain't never getting home to Mama. Sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go see what they're doing. With that hobble. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if us. I should leave. What if my parents come home? Hmm. Leave you alone. I, I won't leave you alone. Well, let's yeah. go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Let's see what these guys. Well, they're okay, I guess. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! <laughs> we're not gonna hurt you. Uh, yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. The chomp. Looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything. Language, there's a kid. Since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Sean Green. This is Clementine. Was he an NFL player or a basketball player? I'm Chet. Sean Green. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Be open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. Daughter. I'm not a dad. Um. Just some guy. Just some guy. Just some, some guy. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> She's alone. Let's get going. Staying put. Hey, I'm just a guy, dude. Mistake. Just a guy. What do you want to do? I. The monsters come out. No. Oh. Let's go. Quick, let's go. Let's go. Push, Lee. Push. Push, man. Push. Keep going. Gosh. Weak. Get in. Get in. Bubble, bubble. Give me some gas. For just some guy? Seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Some guy. Just some guy. Oh. Trophy pop. Yo. Okay. Going out to the farm. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. Mama's gonna no be sweat, in a man. snit. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was hey, nice Sean. to meet you both. See you, buddy. Okay. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. True. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. New place to say your boy's, your boy's a lifesaver. Life Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, no, not his no. daughter. He's just some well, guy. Just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? <laughs> do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. 
Well, at least he's looking like out you for hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look see. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Could be worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel. How'd this happen? Car accident. Yep. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Let's be honest. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. Let's just be he was giving me honest. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. As honest as we can be. Up with mine. <laughs> we got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. We're done here. I already told you to name my daughter. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit <laughs> hitting the fan. I don't think anyone... She didn't hear you at all, buddy. Dead. She didn't hear you at all. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. That's true. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm He's all off, Sean. Jeez. You'll start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> uh, we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. That humor. Okay, that'd be preferable. Yeah. There's blankets and such in the barn. Such a nice I'll be guy. be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right then. Got the barn out there. It smells like <laughs> manure. manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Plops. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Poor Clementine. I love you, baby. Hey. Up. How you doing? I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. He's excited. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck. Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know. Um, That's a valuable treat lately. 
No I get it now. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Well, at least he's honest. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the <laughs> missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. Indeed. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. All right. Let's do a bit of walking around here. Hey there, girls. Hey there. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort That's Lauderdale. That's helpful. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. Go dogs. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people. Over some, just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Mm. Anybody Who wouldn't? Right mind would. Families, and barbecues, mm. barbecues, and good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. All right. Let's see what old Kenny, the Ken Master, Sir Ken's a lot. That's what he says. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So, what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You got, got that boat. boat. I'm a commercial fisher. He's on a boat. Catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds mm. and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna There you us. go. I like Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Mm. I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. See you. Kenny's a good old boy. Alright. Let's head this way. Whoa. Slow walk. Alright. Let's talk to the boy. How you hey, doing, ball. Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. Mm. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. 
Yeah, that's not gonna be annoying at all. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that'd sure speed things up. Sure. I can cut them two bys. To length. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Mm. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's mm. eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to offer Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I had to shoot one. Yeah, you did. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh... My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. He's a beast with that saw. It's pretty impressive. That hurts a very sharp hey, saw. Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Thank anyway, you, Sean. When you see my dad around, he might. You're want a bit creepy, you but you know. You help me out. Alright, let's go talk to the daddy. Mr. Herschel. What's up, Herschel? How you doing? You don't like me, do you? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh, had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought yeah. up to? Family yes. is important. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife, girlfriend. Uh, my parents are in Macon. There you friend. go. Well, I hope they're all right. Me too. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her. I was being attacked, and she came to my rescue. Had honesty. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of no. advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar. I'm not lying. Fast. <laughs> Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse truthful. before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Easy. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh dear. Oh my. Go! I'll get my gun. Well. And it begins. Oh the. Gotta get the boy. Help the boy. Help the boy. There you go. Good call. I got you. Get this tractor off of me. Get it off, get it off. Help me, please. Get it off. No. He gone. You go. There you go. I 
lot, Sean. I think you gotta save the key. Turn that truck off. Get out. Hmm. Get the fuck out of here! Hmm, her sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Poor guy. Get out! And never come back! Trophy hunt! Well? Got that ride to make it if you want it. Yeah, you do. All right, we're going to end this episode there. I think that's a good stopping point. Again, I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, forgot to mention on the last episode. Um, if you want to, please uh, hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Love to see you coming back to watch more. Uh, if you want to, follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Carbonics. And on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Carbonics. I try to live stream every now and then. Anywho, thanks again for watching. Uh, and we'll see what happens on the next episode. Thanks again. Bye.